Hey beautiful people! Today guys, I'm talking about something I have always wanted to talk about on this channel. We're talking about Nigerian comedians, both the ones that have been popular before Instagram and the ones that are Instagram comedians now, Instagram, Facebook comedians, then um, skit makers, everybody. Let's just gather them together and put them into one box and call them comedians. I will try not to mention names because I'm not trying to Put down anybody's effort or put down anybody's uh, work as a content creator i know that it's a lot of work it takes a lot of work to create content it takes a lot of work to put the content out there and also sometimes it takes a lot of work to um try to get that content to get reception that is why i don't want to call a lot of names today so we're talking about them today and how they need to stop the kind of thing they are doing basically i'm ripping i'm exposing them and some of their laxities in this video so don't go anywhere i'm rosie Kett. thank you so much for tuning in if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back if you're new here welcome to the channel please don't fail to hit the subscribe button like this video and please share if you can so guys i think a lot of nigerian comedians need to suspend out they need to calm down a little bit because sometimes i listen to nigerian comedians not all of them some of them are great some of them are amazing but sometimes when i listen to them crack what is supposed to be a joke and people are laughing i'm just literally waiting for one person to have maybe the reaction i have and when i meet see those kind of people maybe in the crowd of you know where the comedy show um happened when i see one of the people who are not really laughing the way i'm not laughing i'm like okay okay i'm not alone in this and I, at a point it's like do i get to question my sense of humor but no my sense of humor is intact because if you know me personally, I have a very loud laughter. I probably will have the loudest laughter in the room. I have a great sense of humor. So yes, I know. I trust that my sense of humor is okay. Is in check. Everything is going well. So it's just that what that comedian said was not funny. When they say what they say, sometimes people are laughing. And the only thing my body, the only way my body reacts is cringe. Some things are extremely cringeworthy. Those things were not funny. And I think that people need to talk about it more because you see Nigerian comedians talk about sensitive topics, people being abused and all those things. You see Nigerian comedians joke about it. Now, it's different that you want to use your comedy to sensitize people. It's different that when you were to do that joke, the point was to see, okay, let's laugh at the middle and see the repercussion of people's actions towards the end. Now, it's different. I understand that comedy is your means of um, passing information. So you want to use your art to... You know create awareness past information then we can understand but not when you're using your ads to literally laugh at these situations from beginning to end how is that funny so we have to know that a lot of nigerian comedians are insensitive mm, that's the word i have to use big words for them some of them are demeaning like they will literally insult somebody and call it a joke see let me tell you something maybe this is why they have a lot of friends don't insult me and call it a joke you are stupid is not a joke to me Something is wrong with you. Uh, maybe I'm too, maybe maybe some people can say, "Oh, you are uptight." I don't really care because I'm probably never going to insult you and say it is a joke. So don't stand on the stage, hold a mic, or perform a skit, insult people. And like I said, it's different if you are doing these things in the middle to get to a point of um, wisdom towards the end. Not when you are doing it and nothing happens towards the end. Nobody pays for anything. Everybody just goes around their life. So it's it's normal. You insult people. You insult a particular group of people. You make jokes about stuff. You make jokes about... Literally, you see people... Okay, we know that maybe somebody is not wealthy, person is hustling. You make jokes about those things, insulting somebody for being poor. Listen, Nigerian comedians are... Uh, and that's why I don't listen to a lot of comedians. Let me know in the comment section, actually. Are you guys... Anybody feeling me? Because let it not be that I'm just blowing things out of proportion oh you need to calm down your sense of humor needs to be in check you need to slow down they are just trying to joke people need see they are great comedians that when they crack jokes i laugh from beginning to end i laugh at okay maybe some of them not beginning to end i laugh at maybe more than half of the joke because it was funny nobody was insulted nobody felt insulted nobody was triggered nobody's old wounds were rehashed because you think you are funny let me know in the comment section if you feel the same way i really think that everything is not a joke you guys everything is not a joke everything cannot be a joke we've talked about a lot of things let's say uh, motherhood childbirth abuse societal issues you can use this art to fix these issues to talk about it to create sensitization people laugh and now think of their life but it's not a joke 
something that you joke about and you don't get to the end trying to fix these issues see let me tell you something and like this other group of people that are now very popular the instagram comedians and all the facebook comedians those ones those kit makers a lot of them there are some that i cannot even watch you guys i said i don't I, my body is scratching me to call names i don't even know their names but i can describe them my body is scratching me to do description there are some that i see people posting and everything and i'm like something wrong with me because how is this not funny and you know when it even comes to this thing where um a lot of them are most of them you see that they try to behave like women because i think women are for some reason we are more funny we have a lot of things going on with us guys don't really have a lot of things going on with them that can be mimic in fact there's this comedian i stopped following on instagram because the only thing he does you might know this one the only thing that his comedy became about was if a girl does not have enormous boobies or enormous backsides you don't qualify to be in his kids and i remember when this guy started he was so funny because he was doing a particular kind of skit and now the only thing that his skit is about is i don't know if, ah what he's trying to say is if a girl has enormous boobies <laughs> they don't say enormous if a girl's boobies are gigantic or her backside is gigantic is um it's funny you know she is um a sex object that's it thank you oh that word came so if a girl is endowed she's a sex object and this is a very serious issue because I, I should even make another video about this because if you are a girl who is on the plus size or who has um assets you know the struggle growing up we all know the struggle where you are seen and the first thing somebody sees about you is your boobs or the first thing somebody sees about you is the things that are popping out you understand and you if you're a lady you know that you are more than those things you understand you are, you are a whole human being who is not defined by the size of your boobs, who is not defined by the size of your ass, size of your hips. You are, you are more than that. So to see a comedian whose whole craft is dependent on big boobs and big ass, mm -mm, it's just a lot. So there are a lot of comedians on Instagram especially that I do not watch anymore. I will not, I, I can watch a five minute skit and I'm not laughing because what is this? What is this? There's, there are a lot of things you can joke about. And I just really hope I'm not being uptight in this video because, it, yeah, I didn't mean for my body, but you guys will bear me witness that a lot of Nigerian comedians, a lot, lot, lot of them are no longer funny. They're just insensitive. They're just um, sexist. Yes. They're just demeaning. They don't know how to talk, when to talk. They do not know. And maybe this is why Will Smith stood up from his chair to go and give Chris Rock one small touch on his face. I was against that when that happened because I, I, I'm always a firm believer of Everybody, keep your hands to yourself. Don't, if somebody talks to you with their mouth, respond with the mouth. So that was my own issue with that. But we also have to look at the other side of this thing. Sometimes people's predicaments, people's um, issues are not a joke. So you see that even as um, Will Smith stood up to go and give Chris Rock one dirty tawai, <laughs> you can't collect tawai for the things that you do. Your joke should be a, a form of relief, not a trigger, not something to rehash old wounds no not at all but you guys let me know what you think in the comment section about nigerian comedians and what i'm talking about is that a few days ago a comedian performed on stage where i watched and and half the time i wasn't laughing half the time i was like oh my god i was really hoping i was like are you not embarrassed this is embarrassing i am embarrassed for you how come you're not embarrassed you understand so i really think that in a lot of nigerian comedians need to do better they need to Review their jokes before they make those jokes, before they crack those jokes. I remember when jokes used to be funny, but now it's just like, Ugh. So I also know that there are some kind of jokes they call dark humor, which is why I don't really watch those kind of jokes a lot. I don't really read them if they, it is written, because I know that it's not something I want to deal with. But when you are not doing the dark humor, when your comedy is supposed to be like normal comedy that family should enjoy, adults should enjoy, then you have to be very careful. You, can't, you have to try not to make insensitive jokes you know that just really like i said trigger people let me know what your thoughts are guys in the comment section thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed it if you've not subscribed to this channel i'm going to ask you again why <laughs> you guys thank you so much for watching please like this video please share subscribe um i'm gonna see you in my next video until then stay safe and be kind your words and your actions because very important <laughs> thank you guys